the city's history. Hundreds of residents are being forced to evacuate their homes. California's governor has declared a state of emergency with several other large wildfires burning on the state's west coast. The western U.S. is being hit by another type of natural disaster. Wild and the sheer numbers are staggering. A hundred fires in total, around 80 of them considered large. In fires. nine western states. Did you get that? 75 fires in nine can you also talk about, I mean, last week saw virtually unprecedented floods uh, across South Asia. The Eagle Creek Fire has charred some 30,000 acres in the heart of Oregon's scenic Columbia River Gorge. Jennifer, it's hard to wrap your head around this. Again, really hard to find the words to describe this. We're talking about this luscious, pristine green gorge now turning orange and red, billowing black smoke. like nothing I've ever, you know, really ever seen. I knew there was fires going on, but I didn't think it was going to be as bad as it is right now. I didn't realize the whole town was going to be shut down, which is kind of kind of spooky. That glowing smoke just rolling and billowing into the sky. I haven't seen one this big. I've seen a lot of them, but I've not seen one this big. And it really is even just hard to find the words to describe this. A true hell on earth, almost apocalyptic looking, the glow from those flames. Altogether, the state's wildfires have scorched more than a thousand square miles. That's about one third of all the land burning across the United States. Whether it's the floods down in Houston or Hurricane Irma that's threatening Florida, wildfires across the West or extreme drought on the plains, we cannot deny that our climate is changing. We're still struggling to fully comprehend its aftermath. After one of the heaviest downpours in US history, the storm is generating an amount of rain that would normally be seen only once in more than a thousand years. Mother Nature is angry. We've never seen the kind of damage, the Biblical flooding. But the number of natural disasters has nearly quadrupled since 1970. Harvey hit Texas with Old Testament wrath, a deluge along the state's Gulf Coast. First of all, we've never seen two Category 4 plus, that would be Harvey at 4 and Irma at 5, smote into the United States of America in one year. So that's enough energy that it pulled the ocean out from the land. And it was like that for, for almost half a day. Dogs playing where it's normally feet deep. This is normally entirely underwater. This video from the Bahamas went viral, showing a normally sapphire sea gone as far as the eye can see. This has been a once in a lifetime tidal event. The force of the approaching hurricane is so strong that despite all this ocean spray, it's actually sucked a lot of the water out of Sarasota This was Bay. the headline in Barbuda's main newspaper today, Destruction Unreal. This was Barbuda before Irma hit, as you can see, just lovely. Uh, this is Barbuda today. Uh, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda says that Barbuda is now barely habitable. And last year alone, 24.2 million people were displaced by sudden onset disasters three times as many as by conflict and violence. Hard as it is to believe, another hurricane is heading right toward Barbuda right now. Uh, Hurricane Jose, it's coming. And then the news this morning, Mexico has been dealt with a deadly one-two punch with Hurricane Katia making landfall overnight as a Category 1 storm on the eastern Gulf Coast one day after an 8.1 earthquake struck the country's southern Pacific. Video shows how the earthquake caused violent shaking inside an office building. Mexico's president. I've experienced many earthquakes, but nothing like this. And just as the hurricane season gears up to batter the other side of the country, the strongest earthquake in modern history may just be the beginning of a very difficult end to 2017. This is, nature is unleashed. She's drawing all her energy, these hurricanes. 30 
seven consecutive hours of 185 miles per hour. We've never seen anything like that. Over the past 10 years, we've seen 100 year storms every few years. We've seen hurricanes are per, uh, repeatedly besiege the Gulf and East Coast. Historic droughts are becoming common and water, source, water shortages are routine. Unprecedented disasters are becoming the new normal. Our first glimpse of the blackened, still smoky crust the fire left on some land here in southern Alberta. The fire started with a lightning strike two weeks ago and has since exploded in size. The yellow otherworldly haze is because of several large wildfires that are burning in southern Canada and the northern Rockies. The skies glow orange at night as the flames burn on. Families wake up to ash on their windshields. Like a sunset almost, evening light in the middle of the day, it was pretty strange. It was kind of a unique surprise when we woke up today and the sky had this amber glow, just made everything look a little bit surreal. People in Oregon and Washington are reporting ash fall from the forest fires on a scale comparable to that what happened when Mount St. Helens erupted. It's like being in hell, to tell you the truth. It's like being in hell. It's, it's surreal. It seems like the province of British Columbia is burning up right now. A ball of light shooting across the sky. That bright light splashing across the sky in British Columbia rattled those who saw it. But there were also reported sightings from Saskatchewan, as well as Washington, Idaho, and even as far as Montana. An RCMP reported receiving dozens of calls from concerned individuals. Reports suggest it landed around 200 kilometers west of Calgary. Whoa! Oh. 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 Well, the sun has unleashed its largest flare in over a decade and its effects are now being felt here on Earth. In recent weeks, we have seen the devastating effects of extreme weather on Earth. And these abnormal solar flares reveal that extreme weather is also happening in space. The sun has produced six sizable flares in the same region since Monday. The sun is currently heading toward a low activity period in its natural 11-year cycle, which makes these events all the more puzzling to scientists. With science forecasting a dramatic rise in both the frequency and severity of disasters, the more wicked these storms around America and planet Earth are going to become. The picture is almost apocalyptic. Nature is also taking a devastating toll elsewhere. The pictures that are emerging from right across the region in Nepal and India and Bangladesh uh, are absolutely devastating. One country, Bangladesh, a third of Bangladesh is underwater. The monsoon rains are becoming more intense, stronger and more devastating year upon year. And from one weather extreme to another, in California, residents there are feeling the heat. This week alone, thousands of lightning bolts lit up the sky in the southern part of the state, sparking more fires. More than 40,000 lightning bolts have flashed across the Southern California sky this week, all within a 24-hour period. The Golden State has been in the middle of a record-breaking heat wave, leaving climate scientists scratching their heads. I've never seen it rain this hard at the beach. It's pouring. And it's about it's to amazing. get way worse. Oh, it's, it's she, oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Holy moly. How did this 
crazy weather system, a quick moving storm left quite the destruction as it rolled through Santa Barbara. Oh my God. Others sought refuge in stores. Oh my God. Just look at these terrifying images. Things were literally just zooming by. Big shingles, fences, chairs, trash cans. And um, yeah, it was quite a scene. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing a storm quite like that. We're out boating on Lake Powell yesterday. Got a nasty surprise as a micro. And yeah, the people who boat around there say they're used to keeping an eye out for changing conditions. What blew through yesterday, though, they said was way more violent than usual. She said she's never seen anything like what happened there yesterday. We're here every year, and I've never seen a storm that bad. She shot video on her phone as the microburst blew across the lake, throwing waves up against the houseboat she was on. This video of lightning in the Santa Clarita Valley. We got a number of videos from viewers showing the same sight in areas like Lancaster, Palmdale, and into the San Fernando Valley. What is that? Like a lightning. Whoa. It all showed a massive cloud with lightning moving through. So many strikes inside that it almost looked like one of those lightning ball toys. As I speak here, there are a million and a half acres of blaze across Oregon, Washington, California, Idaho, Montana, Colorado, Wyoming, Nevada, and Utah. This year is virtually guaranteed to be the worst fire season in history. In Montana, multiple wildfires uh, scorched. A different natural disaster that's uh, ra ravaging the great state of Montana. In every corner of our state, Montana has felt the impacts of wildfires. In Montana, we're experiencing a historic drought. A serious drought has swept southern Europe this summer. Some farmers in Italy and Spain are predicting the worst crop yields in 20 years. In the Vatican, for the first time ever, they've already shut down the fountains in solidarity. Including those in St. Peter's Square because of Italy's drought. Flash flooding has swamped the Italian city of Livorno, killing at least six people after 400 millimeters of rain fell in just four hours. The mayor has accused the government of underestimating. An out of control bushfire has forced the evacuation of staff from the Navy base at Jervis Bay. As we go to air tonight, there are more than 120 fires burning, including one on the south coast at emergency level. Temperature has dramatically plunged, but tonight fires are still burning. And now there's a new problem. Wild westerlies have grounded up to 100 flights at Sydney Airport. The danger, of course, is the fact that all of this is happening and it's only mid-September. North Korea's tests are a threat to international peace and stability. It's a global threat and requires a global response. 